Hi guys, this is Ratchet Throw, and we are playing Criminal Case, War Edition, Case 52, Double Trouble. Let's all act, Chapter 2. Alright, alright. Okay. How do you really know about our decoy plan? Katria, authorities have, have intercepted a cargo ship full of bearing straight weapons. But a weapon could be there, Katria. You better go search that ship. I agree, Jonas' expertise could come in handy. He should go with you. Meanwhile, I'll go visit Jack at the hospital. Here's hoping the weapons on the cargo ship blow this case wide open. Let's go, Katia. Oh, Jonah, you're going to be my partner, right? <laughs> Alright, let's rescue the cargo ship deck. Oh, Jonah is going to be happy about it since we are going to find some cool weapons there. Oh, I see the sniper. This must be the one. I'm glad you called me out into the field, Katria. So you found some toilet paper. If you could take this board piece together. Wait a minute, you found a prototype. There isn't another gun like this on the planet. This is the murder weapon. What's it doing on this ship? You better toss a prototype of Prince, you're right. And you found a rifle assembly sheet. Don't have to kill must and read it. There's some hair stuck to the page. Think you can collect a sample? You are the kill's trail now, Katia. Hurry, we don't want that chill to go cold. And it won't. Alright, first this manual. Got a sample to here for that manual to kill you, so seven the murder weapon? Better say it to Lars. Alright. Whenever it's uh, an evidence that uh, that it's going to be the profile of the killer, we send it to Lars. Alright, now this sniper. Oh, so you did touch the sniper. You got a professor set of fingerprints on the murder weapon. Let's run into the database. Alright, let's see who had weapon in possession. If not the cure since... Well, he actually needed to... He needed to set up the rifle so he can... Uh, kill. And then he probably got away and then used his tablet. To kill Nilo. The first story is for some radio show called Get the Truth. Why is there a picture of the victim in cross hairs on it? That's pretty belligerent. Looks like a guy called Charles Kuwait is the host. Let's ask you about this poster. Alright, you seem angry already. Alright, now let's analyze this figure piece. Who touched it? Let's buy many talks fingerprints. All right, who are you then? So figures about the sort of man talk Jones says here that he's a local hunter. What did say you go ask this Mr. Jones why he got his bits all over the murder weapon? What were you using murder weapon for? All right, first let's go talk to Travis. Mr. Quaid, so I found your poster. How are murder victims with your crosshairs? What's the deal? Hey man, the crosshairs were the tre- They were a metaphor. I want to get the truth in my sights. 
truth, what truth? What kinds of questions do you need answered about Nilovertanid? Like, for why? Why is the Unified Nations expected really coming to Alaska? What was the real reason for the visit? Someone has killed what the Jack Lauder called the noblest game of all. A man. What do they not want us to know? I see. We'll ask the questions from now on, Mr. Quaid. I thought Katia might be back to ask you more, so don't go on any field trips. I'm not going anywhere. My listeners need me to get the truth. Ah, so he was uh, just your target, just to get truth, not to kill. Well, we'll see about it. Alright. Manituk now. Mr. Jones, Victor found your fingerprints on a prototype rifle. The same rifle was used to kill a UN envoy. Care to explain? Oh, now I recall many things, but not a murderer. I was helping to load the ship, and you know, I saw this gun. I never seen anything like it, and I'm a hunter, you know, so I was curious about it. Like Jack Lada said, life lived on life. But I only kill for food and furs. Seal, whale, caribou, you know, food. I told you, I'm a hunter. So you keep saying. Well, stick to legal game, Mr. Joseph. Please don't touch any more weapons today. Don't touch. Let's check out this hair. Hey, Katia, thanks for bringing that sample around. I really needed to get my mind off Jack getting shot. I hear you, so why did you find? We know the cure used this sample cheek at the acquired the hair from, so it must be important. You got it, Bob. The sample you created for the rifle assembly she was fuzzy was it for a reason. All those fuzzies were dark here, but not just any kind of dark. A slight dark. An Alaska Malamute. They are water through double coat of fuel that needs to be brushed every day. They shot like crazy. That's why you how so much hair was transferred from the killer to the assembly she. They're hanging out with at least one sled dog. Good spend time with Alaska Malamutes? Well, it's good to know this case hasn't gone to the dogs. Heh. <laughs> this very straight cargo doesn't sit straight with me, Katia. Why would they try to ship all those weapons out right on the day of the Unified Nations inspection? And let's not forget our murder weapons somehow ended up on that ship. There's more to this than meets the eye, Katia. Agri, let's get back to the weapons factory and see if we can dig anything else up. Okay. On the day of ex inspection, you were shipping weapons. Why do I get the feeling that this company is also owned by Sombra? Because why not? That cardboard box is full of U.S. Navy stuff. Is someone at the factory a U.S. Navy supporter? You have to dig in to find out. And who would have left that smartphone here? Let's lucky to get to the intel. Okay. Alright, first let's search this cardboard box. U.S. Navy. Is it Sabra or... Come on. US Day scratched out. Alright, so you are you're a US Day supporter. Whoa, is that Karen Nalo holding a rifle at the US Day rally? Looks like she doesn't like Unified Nations so much. And the Unified Nations battle might be less welcome around here than she led us to believe. Good cock I better get a straight dough from Miss Nalo this time. Alright, why do you want uh, America to leave Unified Nations? Alright, let's unlock this smartphone before talking to her. It's about to find something good in this smartphone. Let's watch it over to him. Okay. Hi, 
How long is it gonna take you 12 hours just to search the phone? Wow. Alright. You are a US Lay supporter. Miss Lay, I think there was a price to discover your affinity for US Lay. So, I'm allowed to believe what I believe. Speaking my mind isn't against the law. That's true, up to a point. If speaking your mind includes murder, then not so much. I didn't murder that unified nation's thing, but I tell you why. He came back, I'd sick my malabutes on him. He had no place coming into my business like that. Is that why you didn't show up for the inspection? You are darn tootin'. The unified nation is not the boss of me or my company, and it ain't the boss of the US neither. It's master or be master, eat or be eaten, and I will not submit. Nice Jack London quote. Well, don't hitch up your sled dogs any time soon. Spec has got both eyes on you. I got you on my sight. You're not going anywhere. Let's check out this smartphone. Tria, the Joe Hello must have a lot on his plate. The phone you probably belong to him. And your financial security agent forgot his phone? That's some oversight. Well, Harold mostly took forty photos, salmon, some king crab he ate at the restaurant. Still, there were interesting voice memos. It took me a while to understand what he was on all about. He kept naming his pieces inside the factory, dead numbers. Then I figured it out, numbers were angles. Angles? How could have been calculated angles from where an asylum could take a shot at Vertanin? Or he could have been playing shots of his own. What do you think, dear? Why don't we try down Mr. Hell and ask him about his voice bevels? Oh, I don't like this dude, so... Alright, let's go talk to Joel. Mr. Hell, I found your smartphone. Laying that around where anyone could find it? Smart move, Mr. Security. No need to take that tone with me, I know I messed up. You sure did, leaving a full lying around with the best spots to take a shot at Vertanid. Please understand me, the man was impossible to keep eyes on. I had to plan for any and every possibility. I even tried to train some Alaska Malamus to guard Vertanid. He never stuck to any of the security plans. The only value life has is what life puts on itself, as Jack London would say. But no, I never wanted to be a warrior. Sometimes I wish something would happen just to teach you a lesson. Then we should be complying and then active, Mr. Heller. If the evidence leads back to you, you won't get special treatment. I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. I should go back to the hospital. Jack's really out of it, but he's on the mend. That's great, but the Unified Nations is demanding answers about Neil Vertonu's murder. I have assured them you'd find his kill, but they'll soon try to wrestle this investigation away from us. We need new leads. We made some progress. Kara Neil is definitely suspicious. She's way into US late. Who knows what she could have done to a new Fine Nations inspector? The clear found a murder weapon, another source of money took Joe's got his fingerprints on it. But I doubt money took the killer. He said he has no connection to Vertanine. Katria, get back to the crime scene! There's been a break in. Oh and who's it going to be? Who's breaking in? Let's see about that. We're gonna stop here. We're gonna continue playing in chapter 3. So, thank for watch. Doc, you like this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!